Alright. So this is going to be a start of a new episode. I, uh... I got hacked. Uh, surprise, surprise. Like, you know, it seems to happen quite often on my accounts. But, um, I got hacked. And, uh... I didn't lose anything because it's only been a couple of hours. And, uh, they couldn't get through my pin. So, I'm looking into getting the double authentication process thing going. But I can't find... Uh, a way to do it. Uh, you, I don't have the... Uh, my iPad doesn't have ISO 13 or whatever it's called, so yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on there. But they didn't get anything, so you know it's whatever. You know it, it, it it's annoying because I had to change my password and then try to figure out if I could set up the double authentication and then I had to change my PIN or stop them from changing my PIN. So it was obnoxious, but you know it's it's something you deal with, I guess. It's one one more thing to get on my nerves. Uh, but I've got. Uh, this is going to be the start to the next episode. Uh, we got one day left, so I'm going to do a bit of a recap. Well, a couple hours left until I can use my next bond. So I'm going to do a tad bit of a recap. Uh, we did uh, a few quests. We got um, two of the Shazian, or two of the uh, Zaya quests done. We got uh, Dream Mentor. Uh, we, we did quite a few quests. I'm not, not entirely sure which, which ones, but, you know, we got quite a few. We did a few of the diaries. I'm a little disappointed on my, my progress in the diaries, but, like I said, I have a hard time dedicating myself to doing those. So, but we did get some progress. I think we got, like, five done, so, so that's something. I mean, two weeks getting five done isn't really great, but, uh, we did do pretty good in the favor area. Uh, I would like to get... Piscarillus a uh, bit higher, but having two hundreds and a ninety percent is pretty good considering where we started. So I'm not not too upset about that. We got quite a few uniques um, from Clue Scrolls as well as uh, imbuing the Slayer helmet. So I mean, we 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 got a lot done. Could have got more done. Definitely could have got more done. But um, with the uh, the medical issue. And now somebody hacking my account. It's going to be a bit slow going, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, for now, I got a wyvern's task. So until I figure out how to get my authenticator up and running, um, I think I'm going to kill wyverns. But I wanted to open these clue scroll caskets. I got I got a beginner, a hard, and an elite. Um, I don't remember where I got the elite. I really want to say it was from chopping trees. I got it from my nest, but I'm not sure. I know that's where I got the hard one, or I got. I got, no, I don't know, I don't remember. Wait, let's see, is it on here maybe? I got an elite from the, from the wyverns, alright. And, yeah, I got an elite from the wyverns, so that's where that came from, and I actually got to complete it. So we'll start with the, the weenie one and then work our way up. Ready for the garbage, here comes the garbage. Wow, that is great, that's fantastic. Alright, uh... Mostly Harmless Teleports and Bandos Hide Boots, which I think is worth a good bit for uh, God Wars Dungeon. And it's a new Unique, so that's pretty cool. Uh, some Alkables. I, I can live with that. That's a halfway decent. 622k. That's a halfway decent hard clue. And for the Elite, bun -da -da -da. Uh, Oh, Black Tea High Traps Tea. Alright, that's another new one. Not worth a whole bunch. Uh, we'll take the law runes. I decided I'm going to open another portal in my house. And I think it's going to be... Uh, I can't remember which one it was going to be. Apatol. I think I'm going to set it for Apatol. Um, I actually used the Lunar one quite a few times. And I used the Burrows one quite a few times. But I think Apatol would be a good one to have on, on the house tab. Uh, that's that, Okay, that's pretty cool. 41 Teak Planks got to be worth a good bit. It says 104, but I don't go by this. This is, this is wrong. I don't think it goes by the right amount. Uh, we can actually check the amount GE value, I think, if we do this way. And we'll just have to get rid of that. So it looks like a total, almost a mil. That's, that's actually pretty great. Um, I'll, I'll just trash these. And I don't know if we'll probably keep these so we have them for the God Wars when the time comes. Or, or what. I, I do have, I think, the Bandos ammo slot blessing thing. So we'll... we'll, we'll I'll work all that out. But for now, that's going to be the start of the new episode. And uh, we'll catch you guys whenever I decide to do something progressive. Oh, man. So, I used another bond. I have three left. 
I bought them for 4.8 mil, give or take. And I got a new Slayer assignment. It is Zolra. Zolra. And I am, uh, never fought it before, so I don't know what it's going to be like. I figured the best time to fight it would be on a Slayer task, considering I have the new helmet. But I don't really have a good plan, so I'm just going to go for the max. And, um, see if I can do it. If I can't do it, if I can't kill it at all, then I'll just skip it. If I can, then we'll do a video on Zora. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Let me ponder this for a minute and think of how I want to handle it. <laughs> Alright, so I died twice already. Um, I just... I don't want to say it's not possible. It's definitely possible. It's just... With my PC setup, it's, it's highly, highly unlikely. I... I, I'm I'm really not even really coming close and I looked up some budget gear guides and stuff and like my gear is better it's better than the budget gear so it's better than the budget gear by by a pretty decent margin so so I don't think it's gonna be like here, here let me explain okay first off like everything I do I'm always like one tick behind, like for some reason, or two, t one or two ticks behind. For some reason, my computer has that whole lag thing. And another thing that's a problem is, uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's like some click sensitivity setting that I can that I can change on my computer. But like when I click, especially if I'm getting a little too like rambunctious, it'll double click, and that'll you know. If you're fighting something that hits 50s, if you double click your prayer off by accident, you get smacked with a 50. That could screw up a lot. So, so that that's a that's a big problem. So I think like with my new computer setup, I think it's a little better than just the laptop I had going on. But it's just it's still not even close to good enough. Like like I'm gonna have some major problems getting this done. But we'll uh, I think I'm gonna skip it. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get... Oh, it's such garbage. I think I'm going to skip it and see if uh, I can get, I don't know, something. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I should be able to beat Zora at, with my setup and my stats. But, you know, I'll do some more research and practice on the side. But for now, I think uh, I'm going to get a new task and keep training up. Um, I recently got 87, so I'm hoping for Krakens, because I think the Kraken boss is significantly easier than Zora, and it could lead into getting the Trident, and the Trident can lead into doing better at Zora. So, so we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. 33 coins for a beginner treasure show. What a waste. All right, guys. Yep, sorry for the disappointment. I'm kind of sad too, but I definitely need to work on the rotations and stuff, and probably get a even much, much, much better. Uh, DPS for me to be able to do this until further notice. Uh, yeah, so later. Alright, so trying to stay focused on the, uh, the getting stuff done grind. So I'm, uh, I forgot one of the favor quests, which is kind of sucks because I could have sped up things quite a bit if I would have, if I would have did it, but I didn't do it, so. You know, now I'm doing it. It's a bit of a waste, um, but it needed to be done for me to do a kingdom divided. So I'm doing the Ar ascent of Arceus, Arceus, Arceus. I don't know, but you know, uh, if you guys ever judge the way I the way I uh, pronounce something, don't 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 ask. Don't you know? Scrutinize me. Scrutinize the person that decided to call it that in the first place. Because as I am not the best speaker in the world, I'm not, I would say I'm slightly above average at spelling and pronunciation. So bl blame the people that name it, not the per not me. So anyways, um, big, big thing to take away from this is, yeah, I'm completing a quest. Yeah, we're checking in for the, the quest completion. But the big thing to take away from this is, I'll show you in a second. As soon as this is done, big secret 
gonna be awesome. And uh, yeah, whatever, dude. And bam, I got 100% in everything. You know, about time, right? So, so now I think I'm gonna work on maybe completing all the quests, or at least every quest that I can complete, because we're down to three, six, nine. I don't know. 10, 15, 15-ish quests. Oh, that gives me 250, which gives me another Slayer unlock and more time in the Tears of Gothics. That's kind of cool. Uh, but next check-in we're going to do will be uh, me doing a Kingdom Divided, I think. I think. Uh, I got Black Demons as a Slayer task after I got rid of Zolra. So it's, uh, I'm not in a big rush to do that. Um, I might even do, uh, I might even do Nightmare Zone uh, later tonight. And imbue my imbue my salve amulet and my uh, warrior's ring, but we'll we'll see. It's not that big of a deal, but that would that would give me uh, black demon kills. So so I might go through with it. Uh, the reason I did the one of the bigger reasons I got rid of Zora, like I feel kind of dumb for doing it because uh, doing it on a Slayer task is probably going to be like the optimal time because you get the Slayer helmet benefit, but it's just. Like, my clicks, like, you know how people say that, you know, being fast and accurate, well, I don't have that, like, my, my computer does play a pretty big part in, uh, in me being a little bit worse at that kind of thing, but, um, I just don't have the muscle memory down, so I have to practice it a good bit before we get into that, and I just, killing Zora is not going to benefit what I'm going for right now. Like, I'm trying to, like, if I would've got Cave Kraken, I would've went for that, because the Trident of the Seas, and then Zora to get the Toxic Blowpipe and the, the Toxic Trident, but, um, it, it just didn't work out that way, and I'm just, even if I could figure out how to master it, with that little tick delay my computer has going on, that little lag it does, um, it's gonna be, it makes everything a little bit more difficult, especially if I'm recording, so... I gotta try to, I gotta try to figure out how I'm gonna fix that, so, yeah, alright, well, I don't wanna make this too lengthy, uh, big thing, um, is we got, uh, 250 quest points, we're down to a handful of quests to do, we got all the favor done, I don't think I have any caskets to, to open, no, no caskets to open, but, uh, we'll be getting ready to do a Kingdom Divided in a little bit, so, I'll catch you guys later. Alright, so we're doing a Kingdom Divided, and I think we're pretty far away from actually finishing it, but, uh, this is a pretty big boss fight. I already killed the, uh, Yama, or whatever he's called. That was pretty easy. I mean, he had some weird mechanics, but it's whatever. Um, it's mostly like, you know, going through the gap so you don't take damage. Now this, on the other hand, this guy has a couple different things, and I think he's the highest level in the quest. So, I think I probably overdid it in the gear department, but we'll, we'll see. So, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing what I'm wearing here, and I uh, threw in some rune P++ arrows, and then once I drop my spec, <coughs> I'm going to switch to amethyst arrows. Like I said, I think I might be overdoing it, but I want to make sure, like, um, kind of feel bad about the whole Zora thing, so I don't want to die, but this has, uh, very unique mechanics, as far as I understand, so, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. No, oh, that's adorable. That's a little less adorable. So you don't want to step on any of these guys here, because that's, that's bad. And uh, he will have two special attacks, one in which uh, throws out something that drains prayer, and one that drops, like, death hands on you. Okay, this is the one where it drains prayer, but they have pretty low, 
pretty low actual um, HP. So it is all right. The other one's a problem. Now this one isn't so that the one with a low HP isn't all that bad. The other one's much worse. Uh, it's supposed to drain your prayer, but I think it's only if they hit you. So um, I kind of thought it would kind of be like now this one you gotta run because they'll uh. They could do damage to you, so. So yeah, and uh, it looks like we're gonna be pretty much all right. I, I'm not sure. Like, it must be like magic and melee. Like I didn't do a lot of reading. I didn't. Like I said, I don't want to. I try not to completely spoil the quest. So. So I don't do. I don't do a ton of reading. I, I like to have a general outline of what I'm getting into, but I don't want to, like, straight up spoil the quest by knowing every single thing. Uh, see, it has this here weird little thing. I think that's for uh, draining my prayer, which is... See, this thing does a lot more damage than I thought. I thought if I kept moving, it wasn't supposed to do any damage to me. But maybe it's better if I try to stay in a straight line. Because it seems like it's doing damage either way. Uh, no big deal either way. Like I said, I think I, I kind of over-prepared. I was actually considering bringing snares to... Or like a barrage or something, or ice burst to freeze the hands, but it says that the dude's actually completely immune to magic, so I figured that'd be kind of pointless. It actually looks like he's probably immune to poison as well, because I didn't see it take any poison damage. Whoa, whoa, ain't you supposed to be dead? Uh, like I said, I didn't read that far ahead. I guess I can't kill it. Maybe it's just a it's a quest thing. Uh, let's see what happens, and then we'll uh, I'll just edit it out if it's nothing exciting. Okay, yeah, that looks like looks like that's that. All right, well, that's a cool little boss fight. I'll be back if there's another cool little boss fight. Uh, the Yama one's was pretty simple. You just have to fight with melee, and uh, you do protect from melee and just avoid the flames. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so we're just wrapping up the... Uh, Kingdom Depart... Kingdom Divided quest. Uh, this was actually slightly more... <sighs> I don't know. It had some interesting parts, but it was mostly pretty simple. Uh, the mage boss was a little tough. The melee boss, not so much. I mean, you could probably do this 20 combat levels lower than what I am. You just have to do it the way they pretty much tell you to do it, like melee and mage, or melee and range. Um, other than that, this was pretty simple. Um, I thought we were a little closer to the end, so I didn't really prepare a big speech, but um, yeah. So this is one more quest down. I'm not sure how many more we have to do. This was a pretty big one. I'm not sure, is this considered a master tier quest? Uh, I can't really check, because I think it'll kick my camera off if I do. And I think this pretty much completes um, Zaya, right? That's what they call this place. Uh, Karend. Zaya. I think it's called Zaya. So this pretty much finishes off Zaya. Um, aside from anything I want to do, like kill the Lizard Shamans or Chamber of Zarek. Uh, but like all the, the quests and storylines, uh, favor, all that stuff's pretty much done. I look like a pretty, uh, I look like a, like an experienced runescape beast. If only I had a lava cape, or a fire cape. No! How dare you. I actually had to kill two of these guys. I thought there was three in this quest, but apparently not. Yeah. See, rune, runescape, old school runescape, they, they're starting to, like, 
I don't know, they're, kind of, they're starting to mesh certain things. And uh, one thing they're doing in this, this setting is I think they're leaving it open for a sequel. But there it is. <laughs> the Book of the Dead, two quest points, an antique lamp for X amount of experience, which I'm probably going to pump into smithing to, to save me from going insane. Uh, Karen Castle Respawn Point, which I probably have to pay for that if I want to do it. And additional Arceus spells, Arceus spells. So yeah, there we go. I'll catch you guys with the next update.